Oh my goodness. Yes, I am still searching for lions and so is Taylor. I think, however, that we have pretty much the chance of finding just one of the bee boys. Ah, you've flown away. No, there was a hornbill digging. All right, because they have found the two Birmingham boys and the Yankahumas on Buffalo's hook, so they all seem to be doing just fine. But it also seems that one of the Birminghams and one of the females are mating. So they're all out and about still. Oh, hello. We found the trees with all the hornbills on it. How are you doing, guys? Warming up nicely in the sun? Yeah, cleaning your beak, make, sharpening it, it a little. Very thorough. Scratching everything out of it. Come on guys, do your call. We would love to hear you this morning. Very busy part here. Lots of birds making noises and moving around and, you know, and calling. But maybe this is where they all hide. You can hear the magpie shrikes with their very heartbreaking cry. And then there was a noise like that. One of the, uh, the grey-headed bush rides. And all we want is just for the beautiful hornbills to entertain us with their call. wonder what you guys are looking at over there. Are you just warming up? When we first arrived, the, it, they were helping each other, they were grooming each other. Just helping each other get rid of all the little mites and ticks and just little parasites that they might have on them. And it seems like they've gone onto a very thorough part of big cleaning. Scratching everything <laughs> very, very fiercely. Yeah. You see, the beak also gets a lot of dead cells around it as it starts um, regenerating itself and growing. So they do this to get rid of all the old cells. Imagine if you if you've ever been sunburnt, you know that when your skin is starting to fall off, then it becomes somewhat itchy, and then you scratch it and scratch it until it starts peeling off by itself. I'm pretty sure this is the same here. Exfoliating. Exfoliating, you say? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, this could be a facial, or you know, a hornbill version of a facial. Facial. <laughs> Look at that face all fluffed up. Travis, you say that the closest thing that you've got to a hornbill would be a roadrunner. <laughs> Well, hornbills are very nice creatures, so I hope the roadrunners are as well. But I am always fascinated at the fact that there's there's no rush in the bush. You'll see all of these animals are starting to wake up. They take their time. There's a crested franklin interrupting me. And they take their time in getting things done. So they've pretty much all of them probably just come out of wherever it is that they were spending the night. And now they will proceed to start warming up, they will go through a thorough cleaning, they'll clean all, all their feathers, um, their beaks, and then they will start feeding again and then move around. So they just take it easy. They don't have that hectic schedule that some of us do and you're just like, oh, get up, coffee, shower, teeth, or you know, whatever order you do it in and then work. I think they, you know, they wake up, they start grooming, they take it easy, and they start moving around. Somebody's got a few things in there that they need to get rid of. Yeah, maybe you haven't been cleaning your feathers all too well. Ah, are you showing us? <laughs> it's almost like somebody starts dancing one of the choreros and then they're like, oh, my lady. <laughs> uh, this is their most important asset, so they've got to make sure that it's clean and in good condition, and this is why they spend so much time looking after their feathers. Because, I mean, if something's not right, then they're not going to be able to fly as well. And it can be crucial for their survival to be able to fly properly. And to do that, then the feathers have got to be kept in the best condition possible. And there's something in the shoulder is giving it a bit of an itch. Are you coming through your feathers now? Around, making noises. 
I think the magpie shrikes are being the noisiest ones of them all. Mm, did you find a good spot in the sun? Maybe it's gonna go look for breakfast. I think maybe we should carry on.